Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in this uh, short video, uh, the continuation to our previous um, uh, episode. In this uh, one, uh, we're gonna talk about how you can use BB to create a list for you in a SharePoint. Um, in our first video, we created uh, a list uh, manually, and then in this video, we're gonna use uh, the code to directly uh, create um, a list for us. Okay. So first, I'm just going to create a small data set just uh, so that uh, we have a more better view of the data. So this is uh, the, the, the sample data that I have right now and I want to you know publish this particular uh, information and I want to create a list in the SharePoint and uh, um, all this the data types and everything is automatically going to be uh, decided based on your in the information that you've entered here okay so all these are going to be text and then this is going to be uh, a number and then this month could be uh, date as well depending on uh, your the site anyways you can still go back to the SharePoint uh, the list that will be created and you can make the changes so if you have like lots of lists that you need to create and then um, you know uh, do it if you have more requests to do that or you have a template that you want to publish the list every time you can use this code it's very useful for that so here what you need to know here is um, like our early codes these are like the list objects that we have and then uh, here you need to mention what range you're publishing in this particular sheet and then you put in the name of the list that you want it to be in the SharePoint so put it um, more meaningful name like um, I'll call this um, just call this budget and expense and then I'll call this table so here you need to put in the name of the site do not forget that and then here you don't need to make any changes because it's coming from here okay so if I run this now it's gonna create a list called budget exptb in this particular SharePoint site okay and the range that will be published is gonna be from A1 till G12 12 which is still here so since we have a data till 16 row number 16 I'm just gonna go ahead and change this then I'll quickly debug and see if there's anything no okay so if I go here to my site for example da, 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 home you'll see that there is no list by this name right now these are all the lists that are available now so if I run this code you'll see that budget expense data list will be created here so you don't need to have the SharePoint open okay this is all you know running from the connections now I'm just gonna run this okay it's done so if I go back here and refresh this you'll see that um, our uh, list is created automatically one minute ago and then the items that is inside this list is 15 so if you go back here and then you'll see that there are 15 the count of the records 15 so I'm gonna go back uh, to the SharePoint and then go in and see if there is actually a data there right so everything is published as it is from Excel now I'm gonna go to list and see the settings uh, how it uh, decided the you know the data type so if you look here it's all you know single line of text and then these two fields are number like we thought it to uh, it would be right so uh, this is all for you uh, in this video um, tune in back uh, for our uh, our next episode we're starting to look into the ADM method of uh, writing uh, you know the, the code to connect to uh, our SharePoint uh, table that we've created thank you so much for watching bye bye